Hello all, I am Siddharth Kaul and I welcome you to Edupedia world. In this video, we are going to deep dive into map data structures or map containers. So what is a map? Map is a kind of fast key lookup data structure that offers a flexible means of indexing into its individual elements. The major difference between map and other array based data structure is that array data structure only supports integer based indexing. Whereas in a map there is no such restrictions. Indices for a map can be nearly any scalar numeric value or a character string. Indices into elements of maps are called keys. Map basically stores these keys along with their individual data values. Each entry of a map contains exactly one unique key and its corresponding value. Shown here is indexing into map for certain rainfall characteristics for each month. The data values associated with each month is the respective rainfall in mm in that month. Here in this case keys are the months and data values are the number in mm. So string representing the month of August will internally yield the rainfall in that month that is the value of 37. The main differentiation between array and map is that array is indexed based on integer and map is indexed based on a key. Moreover, key is not restricted to only integers, it can be a character array, scalar, uh, scalar real double or single, signed or unsigned scalar integer or it can basically be anything. Map is considered to be the most memory efficient when the data stored in it is a scalar number or a character array. Properties of a map class a map is basically an object or an instance of a MATLAB class called map. It is also a handle of object and will behave like any other MATLAB handle object. All objects of, uh, all objects of map have these three properties shown in the slide. Count that is an unsigned integer that represents the total number of key or value pair present in the map object. By default this value is zero. Key type is a string property that indicates the type of all the keys contained in the map object. This can be double, single, character, signed or unsigned integer. If we attempt to add unsupported key types like integer 8, then MATLAB converts them to double. The third property is a value type, which again is a string that indicates the type of values contained in the map object. So if the values in map are all of type scalar, and of same type then the value type is set to that. Say for example if all the values are character then this value type will become character but then otherwise it will remain of type any which is also its default type. A map is a handle object meaning if we make a copy of the object uh, uh, copy of this map object MATLAB does not create a new map. It just creates a new handle for the existing map that we have specified. So any changes in the new handle will be reflected in the original as well because again this is not a new copy it just creates a new handle for the map. The new handle can be deleted without affecting the original map. Methods of map class Shown here is the list of methods available for a map object. First is isKey method. It checks whether the map contains a specified key or not. Then we have a keys method that names of uh, that returns the names of all the keys in the map. Then we have length method that uh, uh, outputs the length of the map that is the count value. Then we have remove method that remove the key and its associated value from the map. Then we have size method that uh, shows the dimension of the map. Then we have values method that returns all the values contained in the map. Creating a map object. A map is an object of map class and is defined within a MATLAB package called a container. Like other classes, we use constructor function to create any new instances. The syntax for the same is highlighted in yellow. The package that is the container class is used when calling the constructor of map. Here I have shown how to construct an empty map object. When you call the map constructor with no input arguments, MATLAB constructs an empty map object. The command is highlighted in blue. The properties of an empty map object are set to the default values that is count is set to value of 0, the key type has value of character and value type has the uh, value of any. After constructing the empty map object we can use the keys and values method to populate it. 
most of the time we do not create an empty map object we initialize the map with at least some keys and values at the time of constructing we can enter one or more set of keys and values using the syntax that is highlighted in yellow so in the syntax in the constructor we pass the individual keys and values as shown we use curly braces to enter multiple keys and values for keys and values that are character strings we specify them in the enclosed single quotation marks let's take an example let's uh, visit the previous table of the month and rainfall in each month we will use a variable k to define all our keys that is the name of each and every month and in the variable b we will pass all the rainfall values in the map constructor call we will pass these k and b to create our map now if we see the property we will see that the count has become 3 the key type has all the keys are character hence it is showing character and value type as double as all the rainfall values are in double examining the contents of map by this time we all know that the map consists of two parts a unique key and its corresponding value to find all the keys in a map we use the keys method and to find all the values in a map we use the values method now what i'm going to do is i'm going to create a new map called ticket map that maps the airline ticket numbers to the holders of those tickets we construct this map using the code in line 1 we can view all the keys using the key function and passing the map object as an argument we can view all the values using the value function and passing the map object name as an argument the table in the next slides will summarize all the keys and values in a single table this is the map that we have created uh, we have four character keys that are the pnr number of the plane ticket uh map to these keys are the values that is the name of the respective passengers this is the map that we will use to examine the maps and uh, we will see like how this examination is been done reading from map when we are to read values from the map we use the same keys that we have defined and associated with particular values we use the map in exactly the same manner that we have used an array except that we are not restrict restricted to using integer indices the syntax for accessing the values at any key in a map is given in line number 1 here we pass the key value to the map object inside a parenthesis and it it returns as the value for the same key let's see an example uh, but before that let's create a map ticket map like we did previously we will use the exact same map and values now we are going to extract passenger name and for that we are calling the map object that is ticket map and as we access the value from an array using parenthesis we will access the passenger name using the key value as shown in line 3 so we pass the pna number for passenger 1 that is 2r175 and we get the name of passenger 1 that is name 1 we can use this return name that maps the object uh, that map object does in multiple ways one of the ways is shown in line 4 where we are using it in a formatted string output in sprintf as shown so we are going to write would passenger dash please come to the dex the dash is then filled with the values accessed from the key of the ticket map adding key and value pairs to add content in the map that is nothing but key and value unlike other arrays where we only add a value in, in a map each entry in a map consists of two items that is a value and a corresponding key so there is a difference between array adding elements in array and adding elements in map in array we only add the value whereas in map we add the key as well as the value so whenever we write a new value to a map we have to supply its key as well the condition is that the key must have a consistent data type to the previous keys that are there in the map the syntax to insert elements in a map is shown in line 1 we will again take the same ticket map with four names and keys now i will add two more entries to the ticket map making the total key as 6 i will verify this by calling the count property as shown in line 5 we can see all the keys and values as shown in the line 6 here we can easily make out that the two new names and keys have been added building a map with concatenation we can add key or value pairs to a map using concatenation the concatenation of a map object is a slightly different from other classes instead of building a vector of map objects matlab returns a single map containing the key value pairs from each of the contributing map objects 
but there are certain rules for concatenation of a map object those rules are shown here in this slide so first is that only vertical concatenation is supported for map objects and not the horizontal concatenation second is all the keys in each of the map that is being concatenated must be of same class third is that when we combine maps with different numbers of keys and value pairs it results in a single map object containing key value pairs from each of the contributing map objects let's take an example of concatenation here in this case we are taking two maps t map 1 and t map 2 as shown in line 1 and line 2 we will concatenate this into a single map that is the ticket map as shown in line 3 this new ticket map is the same map that we have been using throughout this video this now has six element and six key value pairs that is it has a six key value pairs concatenation does not include duplicate keys or their values in the resulting map object this can be shown using the ex the examples shown in map m1 as in line 4 with keys 1 5 8 and map m2 as in line 5 with keys 8 9 6 we will concatenate them into a single map m as shown in 6 when we see the final keys and values in map m as in 7 as in line 7 we will see that the duplicate value of m1 is being overwritten by m2 so the common 8 in both m1 and m2 has been overwritten by the latter uh, latter one that is m2 and the uh, that value has been stored in the map removing keys and values from the map we use remove method to delete any entries that we do not want in a map when we are calling this method we specify the map object name and the key name to remove matlab deletes the key and its associated value from the map the syntax for the same that is the remove method is shown in line 1 we call the remove function then pass the map name and the key name that is to be removed this function will remove all the associated values with the said key here i have taken the same map that is the ticket map with four names and then i am going to remove the fourth key that is nz1452 which will also remove the associated name that is the name 4 with it so now when we check for the values of the map we will only get three names modifying values in a map we can modify any value in a map simply by overwriting on the current value as the specified key say for example key a479gy passenger is name 3 we can replace this name 3 with any other name like name 7 as shown in line 2 we access the value from a key on the left side of the assignment operator and then assign it the value of name 7 we can verify that the value is being replaced by accessing the value through the key like done in the line 3 modifying keys modifying the values in a map is a straightforward thing to modify a key we first remove the key and its existing value and then we create a new entry with the corrected key name like for example um, shown here we are modifying the ticket number 2r175 for name 1 with ticket number 2s185 so first in line 1 we have to remove the key and its associated value so we have removed the key 2r175 and its all associated value that is name 1 then as shown in line 2 we have created a new uh, entry in the map we change ticket number and assign it the same passenger name now we can take the keys and values and we can see the change has taken place so basically to modify any value we just remove that value first and then we add it as a new value mapping to a structure array it is a common practice to store other classes such as structures or cell arrays in a map container however maps are at their most memory efficient when the data stored in them belongs to one of the basic matlab types such as double character integers and logicals we can map uh, we can map data to other classes in a more efficient way we will focus on structure and cell array as they present some interesting combinations shown here is an example that shows how to map a map to a structure array this examples maps airline seat numbers to structures that contain ticket numbers and destinations i will start by creating the ticket map which maps ticket numbers to passengers now i will create a structure as from line 2 to line 11 that will contain ticket numbers destination and some more information like reserve date and origin of place now i will map these five seats to these structures as shown in line 12 
So we have C23F with structure S5, 15C with structure S1, 15B with structure S3, 9C with structure S4 and 12D with structure S2. Using this seating map map object we can find information about passenger in multiple ways. Demonstrated here are few of the ways in which we use maps along with a structured data. One of the ways is shown in box 1 where we have extracted the information about passenger seated at seat 9C. We get the ticket number, uh, we get the destination, the reserved date and the place of origin. The second way we use this map is shown uh, in box 2 where we have uh, extracted first the ticket number from the seating information. So we get the ticket number for passengers seated at 15B. Now using this ticket number and uh, our original ticket map we can extract the name of the passenger. Similar to structure we can also map cell array in a map object. I will take the same airline map as in the previous slide with ticket number and passenger name. L let us say some of the passenger are frequent flyer and have frequent flyer account with the airline. Uh, we can use this to map the names of these passengers to records of the number of miles they have used and the number of miles they have still available. We will create account map with passenger name and number of miles flown and number of miles available. We can use this passenger name information to retrieve account information. So we can get the miles used that is in this case 0 and the miles remaining that is in this case 1342.9. This concludes our video on map containers. In the next video we are going to take a detailed look in how to combine uh, classes of different types or how to combine unlike classes. So till then please subscribe. And thanks for watching.